First of all, hi. As a former loud and proud man hater, <laughs> here are five things that have changed the game for me. Number one, I realized I didn't hate men. I hated the way I allowed myself to be mistreated by men. Big difference, right? You are not a victim. You are a participant. And when you point the finger, you miss out on the opportunity to grow. Number two, I stopped saying I didn't need a man. Because if, if I want a relationship with a man, then I need one, right? Okay, that's that on that. Three, <laughs> you can't be that serious about getting picked if you're not in the gym at least three times a week. You don't even take care of yourself, so how would you expect someone to take care of you? <laughs> Number four, I stopped entertaining stragglers. And stragglers are guys you meet along the way that you know you're not really ever going to take seriously, but you use them for your own personal entertainment. Number one, that's wrong. Number two, you're sending a mixed message. Stay committed to what you want. Most importantly, number five, accountability. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I analyzed my behavior and what parts of me resonated with these men I deemed problematic. I'm here to tell you that the call is coming from inside the house. And it's time to pick up. Yeah, we back. Now today, man, we're gonna talk about Brittany Renner. Now, Brittany Renner, she's been in the she's been making the rounds on social media recently. You know, um, she's rebranding, as I would say. She's rebranding. As we know, Brittany Renner, we know her from back in the day. The chick that I don't know if you could call her a celebrity groupie, but something like that. A popping celebrity groupie, right? Uh, a popular social media influencer that was making the rounds that had various relationships and flings with men of influence in the entertainment industry, in the athletic industry, etc. etc. In fact, I believe she has a child with an athlete, I, I believe by the name of PJ Washington, right? So, in terms of the, the groupie game, she pretty much hit the lottery, right? She pretty much got the rich baby daddy in entertainment. So, you know, pretty much she scored a touchdown. Now, I'm not too sure how old she is. I believe she maybe close to her 30s, maybe early 30s, who really knows, but she's around that age where I like to say, you know, the women kind of start to see the light, right? Obviously, they never see the light when they're like 22, 23, 24. Nah, they never see the light when they're supposed to see the light, right? But they usually see the light when we don't really care if they see the light any goddamn way. I don't know, but you know, I'm not gonna knock her, right? I'm not gonna knock her if she's kind of you know, coming to her senses, kind of understanding what the game is and kind of trying to figure out where she lands in it. I'm not going to knock her for coming into the knowledge at any age that she decides to come into it. Now, will men take her serious? Mm, probably not, because we really want y'all to see the light when y'all like 21, 22, 23, 24. To be honest, it doesn't really mean too much when you guys are like, you know, 33 34 35 36 38 and then you finally see the light now you finally understand what the deal is right i mean what's the point right what's what's really good you know but at the end of the day i believe she's making the rebrand you know she's been hanging around certain um social media spaces where these conversations are being had and she's soaking up the game she's soaking up the energy she's soaking up the information and i guess she's trying to apply what pertains to her situation so i'm not gonna i'm never gonna knock a chick that's kind of trying to see what the game is about and trying to find her place in it trying to find her lane trying to find a guy that cares about her trying to find somebody that she's compatible with now me personally i think she pretty much already won right she pretty much she already got the the rich baby daddy who's the athlete right so i think she really already won the game so i don't really know if maybe she's trying to rebrand maybe might put out a book maybe might start her own platform her own podcast who really knows right but at the end of the day britney renner as we know from back in the day this is not the britney renner that we all knew from back in the day who was pretty much speaking the opposite of what she's speaking now right now she's talking about accountability now she's talking about you know staying in shape making sure you're the, the best version of yourself making sure you're the best version of yourself to attract the best man that you can attract you know so listen women they get around this age and they kind of wise up to the game and they trying to they pretty much add different tricks to their arsenal so it is what it is man listen any guy that deals with her just be sharp be smart understand that you're dealing with a chick that got some experience under her belt who pretty much listen she got different she got different tricks that she can now apply to the men that she deals with right so you got to stay on your toes if you are a man that deals with her right listen some chicks are genuine when they speak this way but other chicks they use it 
as a ploy because they understand they getting older. They understand they can't really compete with the youth, with the new young fine chicks that's 21, 22, 23. So what they try to do to stand out from the pack is they say, listen, I might not be able to compete with the chick that's 23, 24, 25, who's just as fine as me or even better, but I got a head on my shoulders, right? Women understand that men, a lot of men are weak for that. A lot of men are weak for that because like I said, when the chicks are young, 21, 22, 23, they usually do not have their head on their shoulders. They usually on goofy time, right? So how the older chicks kind of separate themselves from the pack, they say, listen, I look good too, and I'm not a goofy, right? So that chick that's 23, 24, 25, she's a goofy, right? So me, I'm not a goofy. I was a goofy, but I'm not a goofy no more. So that's kind of how they separate themselves from the pack. Some of them are genuine in what they say, right? Some of them are genuine in their speech. Some of them are really like, listen, I done learned from my past experiences and I'm a better woman because of that. Other chicks, they trying to play you for the okie doke, right? They trying to play you for the okie doke. They trying to play you for a fool and it's up to you to see if she's genuine or not, right? So listen, I'm never gonna knock her. So to Brittany Runner taking in the information and pretty much running with it right trying to become a better woman it is what it is man so listen like share subscribe cash app in the description support the platform support the platform we're gonna start going crazy with the content 2023 but i'm gonna need y'all to ride with me support the platform let's build this together show love to your boy this year let's take it to the top man it's your boy nefakari desaline back in the building yes indeed and i'm gone peace Reincarnated, I'm back in original fashion. I left on a horse and came back in that ass, and I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty have fallen. Used to be running, now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applauded. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shit. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart would be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down in generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genders. Falsifying information. Now they got malice intentions. Step in the room and I'm feeling the tension. Enemy watching me, blocking my vision. Get for the check, cause I need my redemption. Building my kingdom, I need it protected. Ready for war like a young money Congo. Never decided the team is the motto. Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles. Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato. I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and making ambition. I'm blessed by the guys, but I ain't religious. I came for the power, they came for the bitch. They making no hour, they wage. I got business. This shit is an art. And they could never be taught Selling my soul I can never be bought Play with my money I see you in court Run to the check And I do it for sport Babylon falling I go to the source Packing my luggage And go overseas Shorty be with me And she so elite Shorty be chosen I'm calling her Hershey Secret intelligence Probably gonna murder me Don't fuck with brands Cause nigga I'm Haitian Say the wrong shit And you're smacking their faces